In this video, we're going to learn how to find the factors of a positive integer using C. So the factors of a positive integer are the numbers that divide that positive integer evenly. So if we take the number eight, which is a positive integer, the number two divides eight evenly because eight divided by two is four remainder zero. We say that two divides eight evenly because the result of that division operation has a remainder of zero. If we have eight divided by one, we'll get eight remainder zero. So one also divides eight evenly. So one and two are factors of eight. To find all the factors, we'll have to check all the numbers between one and the positive integer itself. So we'll have eight divided by three, which is going to be two remainder two. So three is not a factor of eight because three does not divide eight evenly. We have a remainder of two in this case. Eight divided by four is going to be two remainder zero. So four does divide eight evenly. So four is a factor of eight. We could have eight divided by five and we'll find this is one remainder three. So five is not a factor. Eight divided by six is going to be one remainder two. So six is not a factor. And eight divided by seven is going to give us one remainder one. So seven is not a factor. And then finally, eight divided by eight is going to be one remainder zero. So eight is a factor of eight. So to find the factors of a positive integer, we'll check all the integers between one and that positive integer. And we'll check to see if those numbers evenly divide the positive integer. If they do, that number is a factor of the positive integer. Now to check the remainder of a division operation, we can use the modulus operator in C. So if we have eight and then percent two, percent is the modulus operator, is going to give us the remainder of eight divided by two, which in this case is going to be zero. Eight modulus three would give us a remainder of two. So this would tell us that three is not a factor of eight because the remainder does not equal zero. So we'll use the modulus operator to help us check for the factors of our positive integer. If the positive integer modulus, the number is zero, then we know that number is a factor of the positive integer. Let's implement this program in C now. The first thing we'll do is declare an int variable to store a number. So we'll have int number is equal to zero. We'll prompt the user to enter the actual integer itself. So we'll have here printf and we'll have enter positive integer colon. And this will output enter positive integer to the user to prompt them to enter the integer. Then we'll use scanf to store the integer they enter into the number variable. So we'll have scanf and then a string with percent %d to accept an integer of input. And we'll have and number as the second argument to set the number variable to the number that's been entered. Now the number has to be a positive integer. So the first thing we'll do is check for that. If the number is less than or equal to zero, the number is not a positive integer. So what we'll do is instead of checking for factors, we'll output that the number must be a positive integer. We'll have printf and number must be a positive integer followed by a new line with backslash n as an error message. Otherwise, what we'll have is an else case. And in the else case, where the number is okay because the number is a positive integer, we'll check all the numbers between one and the number itself. We'll use a for loop to help with this. So we'll have a for loop with a counter variable i that we're going to initialize to one. We'll have the loop continue so long as i is less than or equal to our number, and we'll increment i by one with each loop iteration. So if the number is, say for example, four, that means this loop body is going to execute four times with i going from one to two to three to four each time 
because i is initially one and i is going to be incremented after each iteration of the loop. So i will be one, then two, then three, then four. And in all those cases, i is less than or equal to the number. Now, after i is incremented to five, this condition will be false and the loop body will not execute. So i is going to go through the possible factors from one to two to three up until and including the positive integer itself. So what we'll do is check to see if the number modulus i is equal to zero. So if the number modulus i is equal to zero, that means i is a factor of the number because i evenly divides the number. If that's the case, we'll output i. So we'll have here printf and we'll have percent %d to output an int value followed by a space and we'll output i. Then after this loop is done, we'll also output a new line. So any further output from our program appears on the next line of the terminal. We can now test our program out. So if we save compile and run the program and we enter in, let's say eight, we get that one, two, four, and eight are factors of eight, which is correct. So this is how we can find the factors of a positive integer using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.